Hey ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It's the Legend Greatness bringing you back to another Game Pass Game of the Week. And this week, we're going to talk about Outriders. And man, is this game for, you know, it just got announced it two weeks ago that this is coming to Game Pass Day 1. And man, Game Pass is killing it lately. It's, you're going to see, especially in the next couple of weeks, when a special guest game is going to make it on the Game Pass of the Week. But talking about this for a second... A lot of uh, Destiny comparisons, a lot of uh, the comparisons to other looters. It to me, this doesn't feel anything like Destiny. I would say it's somewhere in, uh, between like Gears and Diablo. I call it Gears of Diablo. That's what this feels like. Where like if you took Gears fighting mechanics minus the cover, cover because the cover is one is discouraged and two it's just not as good. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so it, it, it's, it's like Gears in that aspect, and then when it comes to, like, the enemy amount, how fast you can get through them, your, how, you know, your chaining abilities and using those to cut them down, it feels way more, like, Diablo-esque. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what the weird comparison some people are making to Destiny, I, I, don't, I don't feel it, I guess because it's three people i don't know it's just i guess that's the biggest one and you know some people like, were like oh is this the best my killer like no no it's not it, it's a great game of its own fun as hell but the only thing that's don't ever kill destiny is destiny and this thing's not even trying to be that which i'm glad you know not every game needs to last you know for every day i play warframe i play destiny Used to play Division. I don't, I don't need games and all that. More games that gonna last ten plus years, you know. <laughs> I, so it's nice to know this is gonna have a hard ending. They're, they're, they're talking about maybe some DLC, um, possibly down the line. I, I expect that will be. It, it seems that, that this game outperformed what they thought it was gonna do. Definitely the best one to come since what? Uh, I guess since. Uh, if you want to put Borderlands 3 in the conversation, really, that's the best in that genre because Anthem obviously is done, gone, flop. You had uh, Avengers, which is oof, shouldn't have been a looter shooter, or, well, not looter shooter, but it shouldn't have been a looter in the first place. And then there's, there's probably some other ones that I, that I don't play, but this here is going to make us mark. It's going to it's going to be around. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a sequel, definitely more DLC, this one is fun as hell, like I said. The world is interesting. Now it does start off, seem like it's going to be by the numbers. I'm um, currently on um, level 23, I think I'm 22 in the gameplay. And I haven't got all the way through yet, I'm at the part uh, of the story where a place called the quarry, I'm not going to get into any spoiler details right now. But it does get more mysterious the story does get more deep um, I will say this there's some people in the story you think they're important and they stay important for a certain amount of time and then next thing you know they're dead so don't get too attached you know and um like there's some guys you're like oh wow this guy's gonna be helpful later or I'm chasing this guy to you know see the, he's gonna lead me to the mystery and stuff and it's like oh no never mind or <laughs> that guy's gone but um yeah like it, it starts off kind of like oh this is about numbers but it starts gets like little bread comes it's a little more interesting a little bit more interesting but the the, the, the real shine the real uh just best part of the game is by far the combat and the skills and this is just with the devastator class uh, i played all the classes in the demo and they all seem fun so I can't wait to get a chance to play through the others. I don't know offhand what my time in game is. I'll check that momentarily. But man, like there's no reason not to check this out, especially if you have Game Pass. If you do not, you can always check out the demo. And if you like the demo, the game is basically more of that. You know, more of what you would like in that demo. Now, if you didn't like it, all right, cool, no worries. You, you try the demo, you didn't like it, you don't have to. Because on Game Pass and you didn't like it, hey, it's, all you do is waste a download, man. You know what I mean? But this is definitely one I recommend. If you're a fan of, like, the looter shooter genre, period, check this out. 
like do yourself a fair fashion because what else is out right now <laughs> you know what i mean there ain't nothing out right now go ahead and play this man this game is fun hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll bring up my timing game right now so as of the making of this video 22 hours okay so basically an hour per level but i've helped out a friend and oh one more thing uh if you go back too far uh in the world tier helping someone else out you're not gonna get a whole lot of experience so you, you might want to switch characters or have them join your world instead and try to carry them um other than that uh yeah this this is definitely worth it man check this out um, all the classes that, at least that i've you know up to level seven that i've, that I've tried because this is the only one that i've done the story with it's fun. We're going to do more of this game on the channel. You're going to see uh, at least the full story if uh, in Expeditions. If DLC ever comes down the line, we'll put that up there as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed. My name is The Legend Greatness. Strive for greatness in everything you guys do. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace!